Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to have a simple video talking about the five textbooks in Reservoir Engineering that have helped me. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video below on the YouTube platform so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell when you do subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic and every Sunday is a technical review. Well, let's get to the content. A caveat that I want to give is that I am a reservoir engineer and my interests lie in reservoir completions and production engineering. Therefore, the textbooks that I am going to show are in relation to the top to those topics that have helped me in my career to date. If you have any textbooks that have helped you in your career, please comment on the YouTube platform or DM me or feel free to reach out to me if there are textbooks that I should consider. Or chances are that I may even have the textbook considering the plethora of books that I tend to collect. The first book that I want to talk about is Hydraulic Fracturing, Advancement or Fundamentals and Advancements. This book covers not just completions engineering or hydraulic fracturing, but some reservoir engineering as well. It also covers geomechanics. I strongly suggest you check out this textbook because it covers the fundamentals of hydraulic fracturing, your process zone stress, your flowback strategies, what to look for in your flowback strategies, and there are a variety of authors who cover some of the complex topics in hydraulic fracturing. And it was published only a couple years ago at the time of this recording. I suggest you take this book because it will, especially if you're working in unconventionals, it will help you in your career in understanding the fundamentals and completions engineering, in rock mechanics, and any question you may have in relation to completions and reservoir engineering. The next two books that I want to cover, yes, I said books, is a two-part series. Volume one and volume two of the Petroleum Engineering Handbook series. My husband, because he ranked in first in his college, got the Petroleum Handbook series for free as a gift from the university. Go figure. Now I get to steal his books and look into all the fundamentals of reservoir engineering that I need as a refresh. Just kidding. I brought my own textbooks as well. I brought my own handbook series. But yes, in seriousness, the Reservoir Engineering Handbook series covers conventionals and unconventional portions of reservoir engineering, a little bit more on the conventional side, but it teaches you basic reservoir engineering concepts, vocabulary, and pretty much anything and everything reservoir engineering, you need to check out these books. It will also help you prepare for the PE exam, or for those of you that are international, because I do have international viewers, the SPE certification exam. The Petroleum Engineering Handbook has a plethora of information that can help you prepare for such exams and prepare you to be a global engineer. The next book that I'd like to talk about is the Enhanced Oil Recovery Book for any EOR book that you can get your hands on. But this is the first EOR book that I wanted to cover and which is written by the very famous Dr. Larry Lake. Dr. Lake was my reservoir engineering professor at the University of Texas, and he is a piano virtuoso, to say the least. But aside from that, if you want to know the fundamentals of EUR and how to incorporate EUR into your reservoirs, if you have questions on tertiary recovery, this book is definitely for you. If any question that I had in relation to the fundamentals of EUR and where EUR is applicable, I went to this book. And surprisingly, it has helped me get a better understanding to how to implement EOR in the unconventional space. You may have been waiting for this next book that I'm going to talk about, because how could you ever forget about the Petroleum Fluids book? This is the fourth book that I wanted to talk about that I literally could not live without. Because there's so much focus on understanding pressure, volume, and temperature, and fluid properties, in unconventional reservoirs. I look through this book at least once a week. I flip through some of the fundamentals and 
get a better understanding of different fluid properties that are out there as well as the as well as the correlations that are needed in order to calculate some of the fluid properties that are unknown to us but this is not just applicable for unconventionals this is applicable for reservoir engineers of any type of reservoir so i definitely suggest you to have this book in your bookcase and never sell it and I'm a huge proponent of somebody who doesn't sell books in general because I am a bibliophile. But if there is one book that you shouldn't sell, it is definitely this book as my suggestion. The last book that I'm going to talk about, and there's several books that cover this because I actually went through Dr. Lake's book when I took the Reservoir Engineering course. And as I say this, you may have guessed it. It's the Kraft and Hawkins book. I have the third edition, but if you have the dusty older editions, then I suggest you to check out those books as well, because of course the fundamentals of reservoir engineering, at least on the conventional side, have not really changed in the past 50 or 60 years. Our understandings and our explorations of such conventional reservoirs may have expanded, but you will never forget the fundamentals and this book makes sure you do not forget the fundamentals. I take a look at this book whenever they're basic equations. I just want to make sure that I remember. And because I am interested in derivation, sometimes this book does let me indulge in that a little bit. But if you're on the technical side of reservoir engineering, whether if you're working in conventionals and unconventionals, this is another book I suggest you don't sell. And if you come from a family of petroleum engineers, chances are you may already have this textbook in your bookshelf. Keep it. And it should be a very much prized heirloom, in my opinion. But aside from that, I strongly suggest that if you want to pursue reservoir engineering as your main career, then definitely have this book in your toolbox. And that's a wrap, everyone. Those are the five textbooks that have influenced me as a reservoir engineer in the oil and gas industry. And obviously there are many more textbooks that have helped me become a better reservoir engineer. Some of the honorable mentions that I'll talk about is definitely the well testing book that Dr. John Lee wrote, the pressure transient testing book, the gas reservoir book, and the SP monograph series, specifically SP monograph three, which covers the probabilistic analysis of unconventional reservoirs and reserves estimation. There, these are few of the many books that I would suggest you read and keep in your bookcase. And I have almost all of, I have actually all of these books in my, in my bookcase. I keep every single petroleum engineering book that I can get my hands on. As usual, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video below on the YouTube platform so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.